Most people at some time in their life have the American dream of owning their own business. A relatively few percent of those follow through by actually looking into and exploring business options. Uh, Joe, even more interestingly, is that when you look at the world of franchising, even fewer people right. go ahead. It, it, it's a staggeringly small percentage, one to two percent that look will actually end up being a franchisee. What separates that 1% from the rest of the group? Well, let, let's start with the 99%, Paul. So, so the 99%, they're looking for the right time to start a business. Like it's mm -hmm. almost like the universe is comprised of two time periods, the right time to start a business and the time period they're currently in, which of course is the wrong time. But the white 1% have a different story about it. They would say, now is the right time. And then I will now actively go to work to make sure that that is the right decision. Uh, the 99%, they're looking for the perfect business. Mm -hmm. Now the 1% would say perfection, yeah, that's probably some impossible standard. Uh, so they set their sights a little lower and they'd say, you know what, I'm looking for the right business. And the right business would be one that plays well into their skills, something that they would enjoy running, and then it delivers on their objectives with a high degree of probability. Mm -hmm. And when they see it, they recognize it, uh, and they move forward. Now the, the last big differentiator is fear, like the concerns, right? So the 99%, they're afraid. They, they, they're afraid of the unknown, but they make that fear mean that there's something wrong with themselves or there's something wrong with the business and then they move in another direction. Now the 1%, they're still afraid. They have those concerns, they have those fears, but they take a more reasoned approach. They say, well, why wouldn't I be afraid? I've never owned a business right. before. I am scared, so what? That, that mm -hmm. goes along with it, uh, but they don't let the fear stop them. So if you were working with somebody looking at a business, Paul, I mean, what would you tell them? Yeah, well, first of all, I think your breakout of those is very good. And one of the big differentiators you're giving is the people that do move ahead actually are action oriented. Right. But uh, I think I would tell people that first of all, you are not born into the 1% or the 99%. That's not the way it occurs. You get there based upon the decisions that you make in your life. So let me give an example. Uh, all of us face fear at certain times. Now you know some people that will not move beyond the fear. They're not going to do something new because they're afraid. You know other people, it almost becomes a challenge. Let me get over this right. and they'll confront it. So how you act in situations will determine what the outcome is. Right. So challenge yourself, go beyond your comfort zone. Number two, recognize that the vast majority of franchisees are successful. And that's because they are following a successful system. And the third thing with that is also to recognize that you are not much different than anybody else and you too can be successful if you effectively follow that franchise system. Exactly. And Paul, 100% of the 99% won't be successful in their own business because they're going to stop before they even try. Now, one action you can take to get into the 1% is do, don't be afraid to just have a conversation with the franchise representative. Just tell them what your fears and your concerns are. They've got a lot of experience in working with people like you and helping you manage the fear properly so you can make a good decision for yourself and for your family.